The tears are already coming. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most heartbreaking moments from 13 Reasons Why Season 2. Okay. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. We're looking at the saddest, most uncomfortable, and hard to watch moments from the controversial Netflix series' newest season. Number 10 watching Bryce lie in court with no regret for his actions. She clearly wanted to hook up. But she never gave you her consent, isn't that right? I, I knew what she wanted. You knew what she wanted, and yet when she went to the school counselor and reported that she had been assaulted, that was a lie? Correct. Seeing the person responsible for so many terrible actions show no remorse for the pain they caused was not easy to get through. Bryce's lies were a slap in the face to the memory of Hannah and to Jessica and Chloe. Not only did Bryce lie on the stand, but his clear lack of regret or emotion during the testimony was truly chilling. I would, I would never do that to any girl. When I think about my mom or my girlfriend. Guys, Chloe took off. I would never want anyone to hurt them. And I never hurt Hannah. By deflecting blame and avoiding consequences yet again, Bryce makes himself even more hate-worthy. We still haven't seen Bryce's victims get the justice they really deserve, as Bryce was eventually sentenced to only three months probation. Number 9. Watching Justin struggle with his addiction and home life. Wait, wait, wait. I think that's him. Jesus, that can't be him. Justin! Over the course of the series, Justin has surprisingly become one of the more likable characters we have to root for. Does your mom still live in the same place? Shit, I, I can't go back there. Seeing his struggles with heroin addiction and his incredibly difficult home life has us hoping for the best for the former jock, who has a lot to make up for, considering his actions leading up to Jessica's assault last season. After seeing the way lives can be completely destroyed and even ended in this series, we're desperate to see Justin overcome his battle with addiction. Look, Justin, you want to help Jessica, right? Well, you can't testify if you're high. Being adopted by Clay's family and his potential rekindling with Jessica at the end of this season has us hopeful for the best for Justin. And my parents, I mean me and my parents, wanted to see if you might want them to adopt you. Number 8. Seeing Jessica Suffer from PTSD You feel okay about seeing Bryce again? Yeah, totally. Jessica has been through serious physical and emotional trauma, most notably her rape by Bryce in Season 1. The fallout of this is painful to watch, as Jessica struggles with post-traumatic stress disorder from the incident. <laughs> Seemingly normal daily encounters can trigger intense flashbacks and cause feelings of panic. <laughs> Jessica experiencing a trauma-induced panic attack inside a changing room was a heartbreaking moment to witness, and served as a reminder that the consequences of Bryce's actions are constantly affecting the lives of the women he assaulted. <laughs> Number 7. Finding out about the Polaroids in the clubhouse I think they know better than to just leave this shit lying around. Yeah, except that they know better than to take the pictures in the first place. One of the major mysteries through most of the season is the source of the Polaroids being left for Clay. When Zack gives Clay and Justin the box full of Polaroids taken in the clubhouse, they realize that things are even more serious than everyone had thought. You already have three of these. There's the rest. Wait, wait. It was you? The pictures show multiple girls at the clubhouse, and we find out Bryce raped another classmate, his girlfriend Chloe. These poor girls. The audience realizes the full scope of Bryce's actions along with Clay, Justin, and Sherry. Seeing how many girls were involved adds another layer of tragedy to a situation already full of it. But clearly no one's forcing her to be there. But girls don't just get themselves into bad situations. Guys make the situations bad. You don't know what that feels like to be a girl in that room. Number 6. When Alex was sent the bullet and gun After his suicide attempt at the tail end of Season 1, Alex struggles with memory loss, while also becoming another character we need to see turn out okay. 
After receiving a package containing a threatening letter along with a gun and bullet, Alex regains another memory revealing he and Monty overheard Hannah's rape and did nothing to stop it. Alex realizes Monty is the one who's been threatening them and is another figure culpable in the events leading to and following Hannah's suicide. Must be a desperate slut at this hour. It goes without saying that sending a gun and bullet to taunt someone who recently attempted suicide is about as low as someone could possibly go. Hannah's dead because of us. <laughs> Number 5. Hannah Service I loved her. I loved her so much. Finally, in the second season finale, Hannah Baker has a funeral service. It's just as difficult to watch as you would expect, with a profoundly emotional speech given by Clay. And I know that hurt won't ever go away. But there will come a day when I don't feel it every minute. And the anger won't be so hot. The tear-jerking scene shows again just how much Clay cared for Hannah, and it is a relief to see those close to her get the closure they deserve. So, Hannah, I love you, and I let you go. Clay's vision of Hannah is shown leaving the church at the end of his speech, further emphasizing that he is letting go of Hannah while still continuing to love her. Do you have any extra tissues? Number 4. When the court ruled the school to be not guilty We the jury, in the case of Andrew and Olivia Baker versus the Evergreen County School District, find the defendant not responsible. At the conclusion of the trial deciding whether the school is responsible for Hannah's death, the jury found the school not guilty to the dismay of many involved. Thank you, litigators. It was a tough battle on both sides of the courtroom. Whether or not the school was actually responsible for Hannah's death, seeing the reaction of Mrs. Baker and the students on the outcome was heartbreaking to see. And people want to point to the parents, but we didn't allow her to be bullied and we didn't send her away when she came and asked for help and we didn't send her back to class with her rapist. Immediately after the trial, both Bryce and Justin are arrested for their involvement with Jessica's rape, elevating the drama of the day even further. Bryce Walker? Yes. You're under arrest for felony sexual assault. Hey, excuse me, Deputy. Oh, excuse me. You can see him at the station. Number three, when Hannah and Clay Song plays at the dance. Following the conclusion of the trial on the night of the school dance, the song that Hannah and Clay danced to at last year's formal is played. Oh shit. I gotta find Clay. Clay, haunted again by his memories of Hannah, wanders out to the dance floor alone, only to be joined by his friends. In one of the most emotional moments of the series so far, Clay's friends all comfort him on the dance floor together. Shared experiences create strong bonds of friendship, and seeing Clay and his friends supporting one another was one of the few happy cry moments of the season. When you not me yet, oh, me Number 2. Mr. Porter's Courtroom Breakdown She said it had been at a party, an encounter with a boy. It's not common to see someone experience regret as deeply as Mr. Porter does by the end of season two. It's clear that Mr. Porter has extreme remorse over not providing the proper help to Hannah when she needed his guidance. I could have done more. I could have stopped her from walking out that door. Nothing further, Your Honor. She didn't just leave. I let her go. When Mr. Porter breaks down in tears during his testimony, the audience sees that Porter truly wants to change the way students like Hannah are treated going forward, starting with the way he conducts himself. It's heart-wrenching to see the effect that Hannah's death has had on him. Miss Baker, I didn't mean to let your daughter down. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You had no right. No right! Oh, to... I'm, I'm so sorry, I thought you said Well, I didn't say, okay? This was all I had left. So you dropped out of school as a result of the bullying by these girls, including Hannah Baker. Yeah. 
No further questions, Your Honor. Reasons why not? You're on there. At least once, possibly twice. Did, did she call you Helmet? Number one, Tyler's rape. I was acting out of a lot of anger and confusion, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do better. Okay, and I, I hope that we can learn to talk to each other. The most uncomfortable moment of the series so far, Tyler's rape by Montgomery in the season two finale led straight to a controversial ending that left us in shock. After the graphic confrontation in the school bathroom, Tyler is injured and traumatized, intent on committing a school shooting the night of the dance before being convinced otherwise by Clay, who is left holding Tyler's gun as the police arrive and the credits roll on season two. Many have said that the intense assault scene took things too far, and there is no doubt that it was incredibly difficult to watch. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.